okay guys in this video i will be telling you how to score some good marks in data structure and application this video will, can help you to score good marks okay let's start okay data structures and all applications uh, let me write down all the modules in this chapter in this subject first chapter is first module is introduction to data structure introduction to data structure second one is stack third one is linked list fourth one is um, this thing trees and fifth one is graphs okay let me uh, as all of you know that every module contains 20 20 marks and in the 2020 marks it will be total 100 marks question paper so uh, this is the five modules now for scoring good marks what i have uh, uh, what i have noticed in the question paper what i have seen in the question paper i am saying that thing first i uh, i will these are three five five modules first i will say you to start with the fifth module this is graphs in this graphs many time it is noticed that the question paper in this uh, part you will have two part uh, two yeah two parts like part a and part b for fifth module part a and part b in fifth module in graphs what is the thing is notice that like uh, you, in data structures you will have c program is the most important topic c programs will have lot of c programs in data structure and application but this is the only module in which C program can be optional like if you if you have in this uh, in this module you have three to four C programs and you have theory lot of theory in this module okay so if this uh, in this four four uh, C programs any two can come in the examination so this two these two programs will be in any one of the part not in both the parts so in this module if you study only theory you will get 20 marks it is for sure because theory and see uh, you have to ready read everything in this module in order to score plus 15 marks because in this theory is more and c program can be optional you can check in all the question papers i have checked it i have uh, in previous year question paper it was also the same thing okay so you got the fifth module now fourth module that is three trees in trees it is also easy chapter easy module whatever you can say in this what is the thing is uh, you will have numericals numericals like uh, in infix postfix and prefix the more first thing what you have to do is all the infix postfix and prefix and this it will come after by BST, BST binary search tree what you have to do there is 3 3 line C program or syntax for this 3 3 lines everything is same you have to study this thing it will definitely come in exam trees is very easy chapter in C pro in this C program will also be very easy you can have to take only this three if you go with fourth module it is only numericals lot of numericals are there if you solve that you can get plus 17 plus 18 marks in this module it is very easy chapter fourth module infix phosphorus prefix is very important topic in this and another important thing is uh, you have you will have uh, you, if they will give you an expression in postfix and they will ask you to convert it in prefix and vice versa or they can give you an infix and they will ask you to convert it in postfix one more uh, one more uh, topic they can give construct a binary search tree what is a binary search tree you can they can ask it is very easy module because only numericals are there in fifth module if you see theory if you study more than 15 marks it is definitely sure i have observed in all the question papers this is the thing fourth and fifth module first you go with fifth module 
uh, read theory thoroughly thoroughly if you study you can get plus 15 marks i am not uh, in 75 plus marks i have guaranteed it i have observed it and i have mm, i have observed it with many students okay this fifth module you'll have to st study completely only theory if you can study the c programs you can go on with it you have to understand what is uh, uh, this uh, binary uh, bfs dfs bfs dfs if you know this this is an important topic if they can ask in uh, this thing or uh, definition or uh, describe bfs dfs they can ask that thing fourth module numericals are there very important if you can do it it is very much helpful for you in third module linked list in linked list what is the most asked question is this two singly linked list and doubly linked list my next opinion is you go on with third module you study this singly linked list and doubly linked list two programs only two programs thoroughly you bat it you do it anything you will get plus 17 plus marks if you study both this thing this is very important singly linked list and doubly linked list very important very very important third third module the fifth module theory in fourth if you hope in fixed process prefix trees will be there many trees will be there binary tree will be there binary search tree will be there you have to know the difference between those things then this single linked list double linked list in second module if you go it is tags stacks queues stacks and queues these two are the important topic in this in the second module if you most important ask question is what is stack define stack and write a c program in stack if you read this thing it will be more than enough stack in second module as it is a last moment if you are seeing this you can only read stacks or you can uh, oh, i i suggest you to read c program plus everything in stack every theory c program everything in queues i suggest you to you know keep some idea about the subject what is queue and don't don't go with c program it will be very much confusing there are four types of queues stack is simply simple easy stack is easy and uh, if you go on with first module introduction to data structure uh, like you have primary data structure primary memory secondary memory and in that int float there are many types of primary memory secondary memory dynamic uh, memory allocation dynamic memory allocation oh, first module it's a bit difficult i have also faced difficulties in that and if you study five six question important related to first module it is enough like uh, yeah five six question important to the subject fifth module i'll recap once again fifth module you go on only with theory this if you know everything then you can skip the video if you I suggest you to study full for scoring good marks you have to study all modules all the line all the thing in the subject especially in video but if you are seeing this in the last moment if you have 10 days or 15 days for the exam like it if 10 days or 15 days must be enough should be there to see this uh, to apply this topic important questions are new like in fifth module you have part a and part b in part a or part b full c program will be covered it is mostly observed that in part a if they ask c program and this in this they will ask theory in fifth module they have file file uh, file organization another chapter second chapter in fifth module if you this is also you should cover in theory if i say all theory chapter one chapter two both in fourth module you have numericals you have to know basic topic what is trees what is this thing what is that thing what is binary tree, threaded binary tree, and uh, the another, another thing, binary search tree, fix, postfix, prefix. And this three three line syntax or three line simple program will be there related to infix, prefix, and postfix. You have to read. Like similar, if you see, if you see one time, you will uh, easily recognize what is that. Okay, in this second module, will come stacks and queues. Many more topics are there in this but i suggest you for 15 plus marks in one module you can go with on with stack and c program of stack in this array 
in this what you have to do dynamic memory allocation what is an array say two dimensional array multi dimensional array c program for array is important in this it is asked in the last year question paper also c program for array what is array dynamic memory allocation and uh, many more topics are there in this okay if you come in first module i'll recap first module once again well the thing is array c program for array like what is array what is the thing uh, difference between dynamic static and dynamic memory it is asked rarely they have asked one or two times static and dynamic memory types of data structures like uh, primitive data structure and um, non primitive data structures the many types of that thing and uh, if you go on with the second module if in this one more topic is there strings strings you have to cover you have to cover this this is easy in strings you will read about pointers and this thing and uh, in uh, this module only softer strings uh, one more thing is there polynomials i will suggest you to keep a recap a gist of important thing just see what is the thing what is the topic in that okay in second module you will have two types of numericals and two both are very very important um conversion of infix to postfix conversion of infix to postfix and evaluation of these are the two important questions in second module that's it thank you